with another video, man. Um, I just want to kind of fill y'all in on what was going on with my um, with my oil pressure um, gauge or whatever. Uh, if you've been following me, man, uh, and watching the videos, then you know I had some issues and a big scare with my um, with my oil pressure. Uh, my oil pressure was showing that I was at zero on my dash so um it wasn't the oil you know it wasn't in with the motor it was the dakota digital um i don't know if anybody ever had this problem before or you may have this problem in the near future so hopefully this will help somebody out um i went through first thing i did was replace the uh the oil sending unit <clears throat> which that cost me a pretty good bit of money about a hundred and some dollars or whatever um Replace that, still no oil pressure. Then I went back and I replaced the cable going from the sending unit to the control box. Still no oil pressure. Uh, so after that, I was like, all right, I don't know what else to do. Oh, well, actually, I checked my gauges on my um, on the Dakota Digital. And what made me think about that, uh, it has a, a demo mode. So I wanted to make sure my my needles and everything was moving like they should. And I checked that they was moving. I might actually show you the demo mode uh, in a few minutes when I get to it. Uh, and so I checked my gauges. They all worked. <clears throat> so my next thing was to call Dakota Digital. Uh, and after calling them, going through some troubleshooting steps, I got to the next to the last step. And that was my issue, which... It don't make a whole lot of sense, but it was my speedometer cable. Um, I know I might sound stupid when I say that. I, I still don't fully understand it myself, but uh, it was my speedometer cable. So apparently the speedometer cable, there's 12 volts that runs through the speedometer cable. And that voltage is split off to the oil pressure sending unit. Uh, which is supposed to get like five volts or, or whatever. Uh, it wasn't getting that five volts. Um, if I unplug my speedometer cable, my oil pressure would work. I plug the speedometer cable back in, my oil pressure wouldn't work. So I ordered a new speedometer cable. Um, well, first I inspected it. I inspected the speedometer cable. Uh, I didn't see anything wrong with it. Like, no frays, no burns, no tears, no nothing. Um, so, instead of me testing it with a multimeter and all that, I just went on ahead and ordered a new cable. Put a new cable in, oil pressure, and speedometer works. So, it was the speedometer cable. Um, and I got, a, I got a couple old clips from when I was, um, from when I was troubleshooting it, so I'm going to throw that in there as well as uh, I'm gonna show y'all how we do this uh, this demo, uh, which is the way that I found out that my gauges actually worked. So I knew it wasn't anything with the, with the cluster itself. Um, my thoughts was that it would have been the control box, but I'm glad it wasn't. I'm glad it was something as small as just a cable. Uh, and Dakota Digital, man, their customer service was great, just as just as Holly is. Um, you can't ask for more, man. Um, I know Holly was great, and I was hoping that uh, Dakota Digital would be great as well. They were great. A little hard to get in contact with on the phone, but um, I went on ahead and shot an email, and um, them guys hit me right back, man. And then I, when I did get through on the phone, like they didn't get off the phone with me until they figured things out. So uh, shout out to Dakota Digital for their customer service. Um, but yeah, so before we get into the video and I'll show y'all all this stuff, uh, y'all don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Turn on that bell so you can get the notifications when I'm dropping new videos. I'm trying to keep them coming as, you know, as often as possible, man. But uh, yeah, y'all go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, man, so you can be notified. And we're going to go ahead and get into this thing. 87 SS, boy.
right, y'all. I just got my new oil pressure sensor installed. Um, so we're going to see what we're showing on the dash now for oil pressure. Uh, moment of truth here. Let's see what we got. So, my oil pressure is still showing zero. So, that means it's probably my cable. It probably wasn't my uh, oil pressure sensor. So, now I got to go and check my cable. Um, run into my control box. So, it sucks that that wasn't what it was. So, now I got to do more work. But, um, I'll get back. All right, I'm back, and as you can see, I got my cable here running from my oil pressure sensor all the way to my control box. So this is the new cable. This is the old cable that I took apart. So we already replaced the sensor. Uh, I didn't get oil pressure with the sensor, with the new sensor. So I went on to the cable. Now... If the cable doesn't fix it, then the next thing would be in this uh, Dakota Digital unit itself. So I'll have to hit up uh, Dakota Digital and see what's up with that. So let's try this. Let's try to start it with the uh, with the new cable as well as the new um, the new sensor in. So let's see what we get now. So still no oil pressure. So that means it's something inside of that Dakota digital unit that's messing everything up. It's not working. So, and I know I have oil pressure. So now I got to get on the phone with Dakota digital and uh, figure out what's going on. See how they can help me warranty it or whatever the case may be. But I'm pissed because I've already spent, I spent $106 on this um, oil pressure sensor and cable. Um, so I just, I just wasted $106 on this. Uh, well, at least, I mean, I'll have an extra cable and I'll have an extra oil pressure sensor, but I mean, it sucked, man. Like I don't wasted time and money. So <sighs> the next thing is to call Dakota and see what's up. Like, I don't know what's going on, but uh, I'll definitely update y'all on, you know, whatever happened with them. Hopefully they got great customer service, just like uh, Holly do. I love Holly's uh, customer service. So hopefully Dakota will do me right and, um, you know, get this thing taken care of. All right. So uh, with the Dakota Digital, like I told y'all before, this is my... Uh, my little toggle switch for the Dakota Digital. That's how you do your settings and everything like that. Uh, it's kind of hard for me to do this with one hand, but to go into demo mode, you're going to hold the number two down, the two button, which as you can see is one and then two. You're going to hold a two down as you um, turn the key. And what that does is puts it in demo mode. So I'm going to try to do this. I don't know why I didn't grab my, uh, grab something else, but y'all just give me a second. Actually, I want you to see the whole thing. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna grab my, my tripod real quick. All right, so since I got my tripod set up here, I'm gonna, so I'm hitting this, uh, like I said, this number two button, you're gonna hold that down and then you turn the key. And what that does is puts the Dakota Digital in demo mode. Pretty cool. Um, so that's how I pretty much verified that 
my hands actually worked. So I knew that my oil pressure hand worked. I knew that it worked because of this. Like, man, when I first got this thing, like I call it, I call it the, the, the digi dance, doing the digi dance. So as you can see, all my gauges are functional through the demo mode. Then uh, it just takes it out of demo mode. You turn the key back and turn it again and you're back in regular mode. Uh, also, so for your settings and stuff, which I'll actually run through some of the settings just so y'all can see how this kind of works, right? Um, so when you go through the settings, you'll turn the key. You'll turn the key and you have to hold the number one. Man, I know I'm all over the place, y'all. But you have to hold the number one down and then turn the key. And then you can let it go. And I don't know if you can tell. Well, you can't really see it through the camera, but it's in setup mode now. Can't see shit. Okay, you see that. Setup speed. Wish you could see it a little better. Dang, I wonder why it's like why you can't see through the camera like that. I can't even run through it and show y'all. All right, there we go. So now you can see that I'm in setup mode, right? So you got set up water, set up oil, set up fuel. I'm pressing this uh, number one button right now. Set up lighting, set up BIM, which I don't have that. I can't remember what that is. Uh, set up displays, set up info. This is how you calibrate all your stuff. Tag, votes. This is how you set up everything. And you can just do it to your liking. Uh, all, the, all the directions are in the manual. Uh, but it just shows you. It shows you how to do everything. Um, let me see. Let's go into setup speed. And when you get to it, if you see something you want to click on, then you just hold that button down. And then it'll go to it. So speed sender, speed auto, speed adjust, speed service, speed output. You go through there, you hit done. So you can go into each one of those modes. So, But I don't want to mess anything up from how I have it. So I'm just kind of giving y'all a little, a little walkthrough of it. Set up voltage, which it says set up voltage. It's already, my voltage was already good. You can set up uh, when you want the voltage warning to come on. So right now my voltage warning is set uh, for low at 11.1 11 .11 volts. Uh, and you can change that, which I guess I'm at 11.3 now for my warning to come on for my voltage, for low voltage. Volt is done. So I'm going to hold that down. Then you got set up water. Uh, you choose your water sender. Yeah, see, I just want to back up out of there because I don't remember what all this stuff is. So I'm just trying to leave it where it was at. So, instead of me pressing some, I'm gonna just turn the key again. But, just kinda wanting to show y'all, you know, the setup mode. You know, how you can just set everything up.
and then we back to normal here. So that's a little rundown of the Dakota Digital uh, Dash. This is the VHX system. Um, this is the one that I like. I wanted to go with this one. So uh, that's what I went with. They got different colors. Uh, I think this particular one is white, red, or blue that you can get. But if you go up to like the HDX or whatever, like you can change the colors. I think you got like Bluetooth and all that stuff. Um, actually, I need to reset my clock, but I don't remember how to do that. So I'm gonna have to look in the manual and do that. Um, but actually, I just found out. I just hit the two button and then changed the time. So right now it is four four fifty five p.m. So we're gonna do the four. Hold that, that hold a two down, then you go to the next number. So it's four fifty five, and I just passed it. So. Actually, I'm going to just leave it right there. Damn. I'm just leaving it at 459. I like to have mine a little bit fast. All right. So now the time is set. If I turn this off and back on, my time is set. So, yep, that's, that's the Dakota Digital VHX. Um... Yeah, so we're gonna start this thing up and uh, let y'all see what this oil pressure and stuff looking like. And uh, we're gonna pull it out the garage here.
seen this thing before, but y'all gonna see it again. Issue. 
That's just like sometimes I come outside and the ambient, ambient temp, you know, should be way lower than it's showing on the dash. You know, it should be like 70 degrees, but it'll be showing like 90 degrees. So that's definitely faulty. Um, you see, it's even showing 194 now. We're not at 194. We at like 182. So, you know, it is what it is. You live and you learn. But we out here in these streets, though. Like I said, man, I don't hide nothing, dog. I don't hide nothing. If it ain't working right, it ain't working right. Traffic in the old school. 